I want you guys to know that my girlfriend Tiffany is no more. She is done for. I no longer have any contact with her. And I can promise you guys that she will not come between me and Abby again. Reason why? Because I talked to a really good friend of mine who knows her, who knows what she's about. I showed them the proof about what happened and how Tiffany had hacked my Facebook when my computer was not working at the time and what she did and tried to set me up to make me look like I cheated on Abby when I did but I want you guys to know that I do love Abby very very much and when I found out what happened I was in tears I've been crying my eyes out for the past several days because of it because I love Abby and I don't want to lose her your daughter is everything to me and I can promise you that this will not happen again Mr. and Mrs. Jeter, I love your daughter more than you guys can ever imagine and I would never do anything to hurt her um, I want you guys to know that Tiffany is not going to come between us anymore I'm not going to let anybody come between us again I honestly had no idea that Tiffany did what she did until Abby said something to me. I honestly had no idea. Because that night when it all went down, like I was off the computer. I did not have a computer monitor that was working at the time. Um, you know, I was actually talking to a few friends of mine, like mine and hers best friend Miranda as well as you know my best friend Angel and her boyfriend and stuff like that so like you know I was not on the computer I had no idea what was going on but I want you guys to know that I do love Abby and you know I do want to be with her and I do love her I meant when I said in that video, I do love your daughter more than anything. I really do. And I want you guys to know, like I said, that I'm not going to let anybody come between me and Abby again. That's not going to happen. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Chance, and right now I am beyond, beyond fucking pissed off. And rightfully so, and for good reason. And this is also a message going out to Tiff, who I thought was one of my best friends. I honestly thought she was my best friend. And to be honest with you, I have a little fucking score to settle. And you know, this is what pisses me off. Not just last night. Well, it's mostly about last night. But this Tiffany bitch blames me for losing her best friend, Abby. Bitch, how is that my fault? I did nothing wrong. And for you to come up on here and blame me for something I didn't do? Did you ever stop to think for one fucking second Abby had every fucking reason in the world to hide me from her parents? She wanted to prevent shit like last night from happening. She did not want last night to happen. She hid me from them for a fucking reason. So don't you dare sit there and put the blame on me, little girl. Because I did nothing wrong and you did nothing wrong. The real person at fault is her fucking overprotective, egotistical, bullshit, bitch-ass parents. Not me and not you and not anyone else. The real people responsible... For me and Abby's breakup is not her, not you, Tiff, not me. That's not the reason. It's her parents. You want to blame somebody, blame them. Don't blame yourself and don't blame. Like, you act like it's my fault that you lost your best friend. It's not my fault. It's her parents. 
And if you guys don't know about Abby, me and her met through my best friend, Miranda. Okay? And Miranda and Abby have gone to high school together. So they've known each other for years. And, you know, Miranda introduced Abby. And me and her talked, we sat down, got to know each other, and we decided that we wanted to be together. Well, one day last year, when I was at a doctor's appointment, because it was to do with a lot of medical stuff, I had a doctor's appointment that day, and I was out and stuff. One of my exes, not the Tiffany calling out, but a different Tiffany, decided to hack my Facebook, pretend to be me, sending herself pictures and voicemails and all kinds of shit. And then what did she proceed to do after she hacked my Facebook? She then proceeded to take and send herself the screenshots and then send them to Abby, making it look like I cheated. Yeah. Yeah. Let your brother out. All right. And I'm sorry, Warren, but yes, I am because of what Abby's parents are doing. What they're doing is fucked up. Like, you guys don't get it. You really don't. I did nothing wrong. Tiff did nothing wrong. Neither did Abby. It was her parents controlling her. Not me, not Tiff, not anyone else. And like I said, I did nothing wrong. So don't you sit there and blame me for something I didn't do. That's fucked up and it's low. And you want to know why Abby's parents split us up? Because they'd rather believe a lying bitch of an ex of mine over me who is telling the fucking truth. They want to control Abby. They want her fucking money. They don't care about Abby. They really don't. What they care about is her money because of her disability. They think I'm some random guy when I'm not. I truly cared about her. I gave a fuck about her. When she needed help with the driving test, who was there helping her study? Me. Who was there to help her through all the bullshit, through all the ups and downs in life? It wasn't anybody else. It was me and it was Tiff. And what Abby's parents are doing is beyond fucked up. And little do you guys know that last night, Abby tried killing herself last night by putting a gun to her head because of them and what they're fucking doing. Now tell me that's not a bitch move because of them. What they're doing is causing bullshit. They want to control her. And I'm sorry if you get offended, but you know what? I'm being fucking honest. And I'd rather be an asshole and be honest rather than be a fake and a coward. Because that's exactly what Abby's parents are. They're fucking cowards. They use people. And a little something you guys may not know. Her father, her own dad, molested her from the age of 17 to 18 and got away with it. And you tell me that's not fucked up. So don't sit there and tell me what's right and not right. I did nothing but look after her. I was there for her when she needed someone. And like I said, I'm sorry if I'm pissing you guys off or offending you, but you know what? I'd rather be open and honest about the fucking truth. Because I was raised better than that. I was raised to not lie. I was raised to treat people with respect. I learned right from wrong. But apparently her parents don't know right from wrong. They'd rather use her for money and fuck with her. They would rather control her. I don't give a fuck if Abby has disabilities or not. I don't care about that. What I cared about was her. But what happened? Her parents decided to get involved because they don't like me because of what my ex did and started shit. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Shut that down. What? You need to watch your mouth. No wonder people don't like you. Like I said, I'd rather be an asshole and be honest than to sit there and hide shit. 
and you want to sit there and say that I'm a loser because I'm being honest about what really happened? Dude, her dad fucking molested her from the ages of 17 to 18 and got with it. How is it fair? And why should I get the blame when I did nothing wrong? So you want to sit there and blame me, Tiff? You want to sit there and say I'm a loser, Warren? I don't give a fuck. Call me what you want. I would rather be honest about what really went down. And what really went down is her parents cannot fucking stand me because of some shit that wasn't even my fault. So they automatically are, oh, he's a bad guy. You don't need to be around him. No, I'm not a bad guy. I want to tell you something. Her parents didn't even give me a fair chance. I gave them every chance in the world to get to know me. And what did they do? Threw it in my face. They threw it in my face and belittled me and bashed on me. And because of the shit that they've been pulling over these last few days, Abby put a gun to her head and tried to end her life tonight. Why? Because they make her feel fucking trapped. They use her. They belittle her. They treat her like a child when she is 25, almost 26. So don't sit there and say that I'm a loser. The only losers I see are her fucked up parents. They're the losers. And you want to know how? Because they do nothing but manipulate her fucking mind. They use her for her money. And they talk shit. So you want to call me a loser? Go right up fucking head. I don't give two fucks. Point is, I did nothing wrong. And neither did Tiffany. So don't sit there and blame me. That's fucked up. I did nothing wrong. And neither did Tiffany. And Tiffany, I know you're probably watching this. And you know what? You need to watch your fucking mouth, little girl. You may have known Abby longer. Yes, I will give you that. But you know what? No one, and I mean no one on this earth, loved that girl the way that I did. I went out of my way to do shit for that girl that I would never do for anyone. When she had trouble sleeping at night, I was there for her. When she needed help with her driving test, I was there. I encouraged her. I encouraged her to get a job. I encouraged her to keep fighting for that driving test. And just like she supported me, I supported her 110%. I supported her on everything she wanted to do. And you know why? Because I actually loved and cared about her. I really did. So you can sit there and say I'm a loser, say I'm this, say I'm that. That don't fucking phase me. It don't even piss me off. What pisses me off is what her parents are getting away with. That's what pisses me off. And the fact that then I'm getting the blame from everybody when I did nothing wrong? You really don't think that's fucked up? Like I said, Abby had every reason in the world to hide me from her parents. She hid them. She hid me from them because she did not want shit like last night going down. Because she knew they couldn't stand me for shit that I didn't do. She knew that. So she did what she had to do. And because of her parents, she tried ending her life last night, and she was forced to break up with me right after that. She put a fucking gun to her head and damn near killed herself. Thankfully, the gun she had wasn't loaded. You don't know what the fuck I've been through these last 24 hours. I stayed up all night last night, bawling my fucking eyes out because I truly cared about her. Because when I found out that she almost lost her life, I fucking fell apart. Not just because I care about her, because I almost lost the woman that I loved and cared about to fucking suicide. And you guys are probably wondering how I found out about all the stuff that I'm telling you guys. And it was through her family and her. I found out through her sister, through her herself, and a few friends of the family that are very close that know everything that goes on. Like I said, I did nothing wrong. So don't sit there and blame me for shit that I didn't do. That pisses me off. Why blame me for something that I didn't do? In fact, why blame any for shit that they didn't do? I don't understand. Like, I don't understand. Like, why? I don't understand how you can sit there 
and blame me for stuff I didn't do. You know, I spent the whole day trying to get over her. I spent the entire day just chilling out, relaxing, and working on some new side projects I got going on. But for Tiffany to sit there and blame me because of the loss of her best friend, I was not involved in that. Just because Abby hid me from them, that does not make me responsible. That makes Abby and her parents responsible, not me. Like I said, any of y'all want to sit there and talk shit and say the loser? Go right ahead. I don't care. But you know what? I'd rather be a loser and be honest than to be a stuck-up, selfish fucking prick who backs up idiots that need to be put in fucking jail. They are legally abusing the system. My job as of right now consists of me taking care of both of my parents. I am actually a part-time caregiver for my parents. Um, it's going to be full-time soon. We're just waiting for the benefits to activate so I can get paid by the state to do caregiving full-time for them and get paid even more than what I get paid. Because let me tell you something. They sat right there last night, and they made Abby give them all rights to her over to them. And you want to know why? Because if she didn't sign over all her rights, she would have had nowhere to stay. Because no homeless shelter would take her. Because they're all filled up. They're so overcrowded where she's at that she would have had nowhere to live. And everybody knows that they're abusing the system. Everybody sees it and knows it. So fair warning to Abby's parents, I ever come across either of y'all, y'all are getting thrown the fuck in jail for the shit that you've done. Especially you, Mr. Tudor. You fucking molested your own fucking daughter, you sick little fuck. And you got away with it. It's people like you that I just want to fucking rip your balls off and shove it down your goddamn throat. People like you deserve to burn in hell for what you've done. You molested your own daughter, you sick fuck. You had no right or reason to do any of that. You are a sick fucking coward. Just like your bitch wife, who, by the way, cussed me out yesterday on the phone, saying that I'm a nobody. Well, reality check for you, fucker. I am a somebody. I am somebody. And I'm a hundred times better than you or your wife ever will be. All you do is use your daughter. That's all you do. You don't care about her or her well-being. All you give a fuck about is her money, and that's not right. You sit there and think that what happened didn't fucking destroy me. You're quite mistaken. It destroyed the fuck out of me last night that you guys split me and Abby up. It destroyed the fuck out of me. The woman I loved was ripped away from me by you two egotistical fucks. Because you're too fucking... You're too fucking proud or whatever to let her be happy. You're too controlling. If you guys don't know, Abby lost her arm to a train accident back in 2013. And when the train threw her, it did bust open her skull a little bit. She did have to get stitches, which also in turn caused a lot of brain issues, a lot of brain issues and, you know, injuries. So mentally, like, she was getting to be an adult. She was working out of school part-time. She was getting her driver's license. She was getting her life together. And honestly, I'll be straight up honest with you. When she was going to come here, I actually had a couple of necklaces picked out for me and her both. Because as soon as she got down here, yes, I was going to pop the question to her about a year after she had gotten down here or about a month. But because of her parents being as controlling as they are, that all went to hell in a handbasket. And now Tiffany... The reason I started this whole live stream is sitting there blaming me for shit that I didn't do when it's all on her parents, not me, not anyone else. So Tiffany, I'm sorry you lost your best friend, but don't sit there and blame me when I'm not the one responsible. It's her parents that are at fault, not me, not you, not anyone else. 
So stop blaming me and start blaming the real people at fault, which is her parents. Because what you're doing by blaming me is fucked up. It's beyond fucked up. I did nothing wrong at all. And if being for the woman you love is wrong, then I guess I'm wrong. I'm guilty as charged. The last time I checked, a real man stands up for his girlfriend. A real man goes out of his way to do shit for his girl. And that's exactly what I did every single fucking day of my life. I went out of my way for her to help her and do things for her most people wouldn't. Why? Because I actually cared. I truly cared about her. And yet, what do I get? I get blamed for shit that I didn't do. I get blamed for somebody losing their best friend when that wasn't on me. That was on her family and her. How is that fair? Did I get blamed for shit I did not do? I don't understand. It's parents like this that piss me off. Because they get away with abusing and using their own kid. Every day, thousands of kids go through this shit. The one I thought I would have been able to be with and save from that, turns out I wasn't able to. And like I said, I'm sorry if I offended or pissed off anyone, but you know what? I would rather be honest about what really happened and what went down. Like I said, I didn't give a fuck about Abby's issues. I didn't care whether she had one arm or not. What I cared about was her as a person and who she was. She is mentally a child because her parents treat her like a fucking child. Instead of like an adult and letting her live her life. Instead of motivating her to live her own life, they treat her like a child. When she is not a child. She is a grown ass adult. She's 25, about to be 26. I'm sorry if I pissed you off, but you know what? I was being honest. All right? I was being honest. A real man wouldn't do that to his daughter. A real man would not sit there and molest his daughter for a year straight and get away with it. That ain't no man. That's a punk ass bitch coward. And it's people like that that deserve to be behind bars, that deserve to burn in hell. It's fuckers like that that make me so sick. So fucking sick. Though, like I said, Tiffany, I know you're probably watching this. So if you're going to sit there and blame anyone, do not blame me. Blame the real people responsible, which are her parents. Do not take your anger out on me. When I did nothing wrong, you know that as well as I do. You know as well as I do that I did nothing wrong. So don't sit there and blame me. Blame the real people responsible. I'm sorry you lost your best friend, yes, but I'm not responsible for that. The people responsible, like I said, are her parents, not me, not anyone else. But with that being said, I am dropping this subject. I am moving on from Abby. I am moving on with my life. And as I said, anybody tries to blame me for what her parents did, you're getting blocked. Because no more will I be beaten down. No more. I'm done being beaten down. And I'm done being blamed for shit I didn't do. I'm done with it. So to Abby's parents and her coward Uncle Warren, I say this. Fuck you. Fuck your coward family. And what you guys have done. You guys have caused Abby nothing but grief and misery.